All right, today we're going to take the visors out of a 2013 Honda Civic using a little bitty screwdriver and a dent removal tool. Come on. If you're anything like me, you probably spent about half an hour trying to get these things out and you even considered ripping them out of the roof just to save you a little bit of time. But I'm going to show you how to get them out nice and easy. These things don't have any screws, so it's a pain in the butt. But uh, with a little bit of screwdriver and uh, something else with a flat edge, maybe another screwdriver, this is going to work just fine. All right. We'll start on the passenger side because that's the easiest. The driver's side, you're going to find that every time you lean up against the steering wheel, it's going to honk the horn and it's going to be really annoying. So give me that camera and I'm going to flip it around so you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at in here. Alright, that's perfect. Okay. Now what we're looking at, I've already gone in here and taken these out. But the inside, Whenever you turn the arm of this visor, this little white piece inside is going to move. Now our goal is to make the white piece move that way. So what we're going to do is we want to take a little bit of screwdriver and find a way to wedge it back behind that little white clip. Now right now all I've got to do is just turn it, crank it a little bit, and I'm going to move it over. You, if you're just starting, are not going to have such an easy time because I've really been working this for about an hour. But as you see, it moves over. And when I turn the sun visor, it's going to move it with it. Just like that, and it unlocks it. Now from the inside, what you notice is, this is the little piece right here. Whenever it, turn, whenever it was turned back, it clips into place. It clips right in there, and this is the part where you had to move it out of the way. But once you get that, once you get that little piece over the part where it's clipped in, you won't have a problem getting it to turn. Now let's go over to the other side, and we're going to do the same thing on the driver's side. Alright, if you're having a hard time with this, I recommend reaching in the fuse box and pulling the fuse for the horn because leaning your back up against here, depending on who your neighbors are, they might get a little irritated with you. Heck, I know uh, I get a little irritated with myself just listening to it go off and on the whole time I'm trying to take this out. So, let me see this. Alright, yep, already doing it. Okay. Come and grab this, just like that. All right, now this one is just gonna be on the opposite side. So if you notice, there's a little crack in there where I've already been working it. And if I shove, let me get you uh Okay, I'm gonna put this in that little, I'm gonna wedge it in there. I need to get it way back there. Now the problem that you're gonna be facing is that the other part of this clip right here is gonna have a little edge that's gonna be catching so you won't just be able to pry it open. So I would recommend getting another screwdriver and if you need to have somebody push this in while you, while you crank it with your other screwdriver, go ahead and do that. It's gonna be a pain. It really is, but you can get this out if you work it enough. So when I pull it over, I'm gonna pull, there you go. I'm gonna move the visor. I'm gonna move the visor with it as I'm trying to crank it past that little hump, that little notch. And sure enough, it comes right out. So the whole I'm gonna put it back in. Let's see if I can do it again for you. So we want to lock it into place. You just want to pull the visor. Here, let's pull this back. You just want to pull the visor all the way back to lock it into place. Well. Not so much right now since I've worked it uh, for about the past 30 minutes to an hour, but you get the gist of it. So I hope this video helped out, and if you like it, please share it with your friends on Facebook. Please subscribe to my channel and watch the ads on there so I can make a little bit of money. Thanks a lot and have a great day.